I'm pleased to rise this evening to talk about uh, a great event in Townsville that's going to occur over the weekend, and that's the opening of the new Townsville Rugby League Stadium. And I'm proud to be a member of a government that is contributing some $100 million or has contributed some $100 million to the opening of that state stadium. And it's a great, great thing for Townsville. It's a great thing for the Cowboys rugby league team, and it's a great thing for a city that's been doing it a bit tough, doing it a bit tough with floods and, uh, and other issues over recent years. Now, I was reading the Premier of Queensland, Anastasia Palaszczuk's media announcement today, announcing the opening. And of course, members here will remember that Anastasia Palaszczuk is the only Premier in Australian political history has been found in contempt of her own parliament. That's our Premier for the good state of Queensland, Anastasia Palaszczuk. And I'll quote from her media announcement. This stadium is being delivered on time thanks to local tradies and apprentices who have been working hard since 2017 to make it happen. So that's good. That's good, Mr Acting Deputy President. The project has been completed on time. But what about the budget? What about the budget? So, I'll tell you, Senator McGrath, I know you're interested in these matters. What about the budget? There's nothing referred to about the budget. So it's on time, the project's on time, but is it within budget? Well, you wouldn't know from reading the Premier's two page self congratulatory media announcement. The truth is, the project blew the budget. It blew the budget by $43.5 million. Why? The construction division of the CFMEU. The construction division of the CFMEU blew the budget by $43.5 million. Because you know what happened, Mr Acting Deputy Speaker, Deputy President? What happened was the project reached a critical point in time and then the CFMEU construction division held the project to ransom. They held the project to ransom because they knew it was time critical. So the Queensland government entered into a deed of variation with the head contractor Wattpac to pay them an extra $43.5 million. $43.5 million. It's a form of industrial relations extortion. $43.5 million. And do you know how the Queensland government characterised this extra $43.5 million? Best practice industrial relations variation agreement. That's how they characterised it. Best practice industrial relations agreement. And that reminded me of George Orwell, George Orwell's double think, where the Department of Peace is actually responsible for war. The Department of Plenty is responsible for starvation. The Department of Love responsible for torture. Now, when I read George Orwell in grade 12, I actually took it as a warning, a warning to modern society. I didn't assume my Queensland Labor government would actually use it as a blueprint for government. But that's what they do in Queensland. That's what they do in Queensland. They actually use it as a blueprint for government. Don't consider a warning. It's a blueprint for government. And so here we have another infrastructure project in Queensland that's blown out by 43.5 million. Does this matter? The Cowboys fans have got their great stadium. Does it really matter, this extra $43.5 million? Well, it does matter. It does matter. The annual budget for the Queensland Rural Fire Service in Queensland is $40 million. $40 million. Less than that blowout from that single infrastructure project. Ten mental health community organisations in my home state of Queensland get annual funding of $7 million a year. That $43.5 million would have provided funding to them for four and a half years. That's the cost. That's the cost. 250 schools in my home state of Queensland, where primary school children are sweltering in demountables, could be provided with air conditioning. That's the cost. That's the cost. Just one of the many costs to my home state of Queensland, to the people of Queensland, as a result of the extortion tactics of the CFMEU construction division. The people of my home state of Queensland are waiting, are waiting for the CFMEU construction division to be held to account and for all Queenslanders 
to be able to attend workplaces without fear of Thank harassment you, and bullying. Sco, your time is expired.